Whew. All right, it's a little, uh, a little sporty out here today, man. Got the wind right in my face and uh, some surf kicked up, but let's see if the bass are biting. I got on a mad eel that uh, Fish Lab sent me, Okuma's affiliate. It's got a little more weight to it, yeah. So I can just cast it far enough with the wind in my face. So let's see if that buys any bites. Got the beginning of the outgoing tide, which is one of my favorite tides to fish. I'm hoping I don't have to stay out here too, too long. I can just get on a couple fish and, and call it a day. But yeah, man, it's, it's been a tough April for me so far. Uh, haven't really been able to get on tog yet. I know a couple of Spiros have shot some tog, and I know some guys have gotten tog sporadically, but me personally, I, I really haven't been able to get on a good bite yet. And uh, striper-wise, I've just been getting rats, and, and this is one of the few spots where I can get them consistently, so I figured I'd come back. But April is not one of my favorite months to fish at all. Not a fan of April in Rhode Island. Everything is like just getting started. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's better than December, but a lot of skunkings happen in April, at least for me. That's all right. It's part of fishing. Ah! I think I'm a little too close to the water. Just got a good splash. Uh-oh. This wave does not look fun. Oh. I don't know if that was a hit or if that was just the wave messing with my line. That might have just been the wave. Was... Throw it back out in that spot though. There we go, hooked up. Nice. On the mad eel, baby. Oh, this is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna have to lift them right here. Perfect. Hey oh, I'll take it. Absolutely tiny fish. Oh my god. This might be my smallest striper of the season. I don't typically like to put them down on the rocks like this, but I kind of had to. I was in a weird spot. Wow, this is an unbelievably small fish. That's got to be an 8-inch fish. That is... And he hit this mad eel, which I guess is a... That's a pretty good ratio. All right, I got to find a good spot to drop this guy. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to give him a little toss past these rocks. <laughs> uh, that wasn't the most graceful release, but I got it past the rocks. He should be fine. Someone on YouTube will yell at me. He hit it like right a lot of times at this spot. I'll catch fish like two to three feet off this artificial reef. Like they usually hang out pretty close. You really don't need to get it out far here. That's one of the it's one of the uh, really cool things about this spot. That's why it's so popular, but this wind is uh, getting pretty brutal, man. It's really only picked up since I've gotten here. But I got the place to myself. There's a lot of real estate to work with, so I really want to try and get a couple more fish. Oh, I think that was a hit. Yep, hooked. Oh, I lost him. Son of a. Ah. Yeah, that was definitely a hit. Dang, man. Came back for a second time, too. See if I can entice him again. Hopefully I didn't spike him. He hit right as that big wave was rolling through. Had to have been a small fish. Here's a nice little avenue. This is some good old slop. Hey, 
There we go, hooked up. Nice. Right at the rocks, right at the rocks. Finesse them in here, right in this little alley. Perfect, man. Nice. They are chewing really close to the reef today. Another small one, a little bigger than the first one though. But yeah, these fish are still tiny around this area. I don't think Rhode Island's had a big push of, of big fish yet. I know, buddy, I'm sorry. My hands are literally numb, so I'm having trouble handling this fish. He's got a little lice on the tail, definitely fresh. Any fish I catch here is gonna be migratory, meaning they recently pushed in from the south. Oh, oh, jeez, oh, I almost just died, okay. Come on, Johnny, get it together here. The wind is so bad today, I had to take shelter in this, you can see this little cavern is, is pretty protected from it. I just gotta, I gotta warm up, man. It's gotta be low 40s, maybe even high 30s, temperature-wise with this wind chill. It, it is brutal out, but fish are kind of chewing two on the board and one loss so now yeah, all under an hour so that's not really too too bad well i don't know how much longer i can make it in these conditions man I'm back down on my little shelter. It's just, it's brutal out there, man. Um, couldn't get any more hits. And I mean, if it was a nicer day, I would stay longer, but I'm freezing my ass off. And uh, it's gonna be a quick two tiny fish video. Um, but this was the ticket today, man. This is the Mad Eel from Fish Lab, which is uh, Okuma's affiliate. And this is the first time I really took it for a spin. And I was really impressed on how well it casted, even with like, 25 mile an hour gusts in my face and it's got a small profile too this is like five inches and it casted really well uh got two fish almost three fish in under an hour on it and now yeah, i'm pretty happy with it i have the link in my bio uh check it out uh doesn't only help you out by getting some good lures but it helps out the channel um so yeah uh this is probably the last time i'm gonna be fishing this spot I'm getting, I'm already sick of these little 12 inch micro bass. But like I said, it's just been a slow April for me. So I just wanted to come back here and get some more fish under my belt. But we got warmer weather on the way, better conditions. So the tog bite should hopefully turn on any day now. And hopefully bigger striped bass will be pushing through. So until next time.